Welcome to the Divine Angel Wisdom Channel. I have a reading for Virgos, Moon Sign Taurus. Okay, so um, I'm seeing transgression, um, education. Wait a minute. Let me see. Seduction, I'm sorry. Again, welcome to the Divine Angel Wisdom Channel. I am a medium, light worker, empath, and shaman or shaman. Okay, so today for reading for Virgos, Moon Sign Taurus, I have transmission, seduction, witness, pray, P R E Y, and faith. Okay. So, today, um, Virgo, some of you guys, um, have spreading of conditions, um, influence, uh, some of you guys might be influenced by something or someone, or something is impacting your life, or someone's life around you, um, there are those who cannot bear to be parted, and so even if one has been infected with uh, what you would uh, call a negative, something that is likely to create difficulties and challenges in life, or even can promise life, um, some would rather share the negative experience than to uh, be parted by the possibility of two separate experiences, okay? Um, for you, for those of you are either influencing another uh, very strongly and um, they may make a life-changing decision simply to share life with you more closely. Um, they cannot bear they cannot bear to be separate and will um, draw closer to you through this or another is influencing you very strongly and you would rather endure what um, some call hell than be separated by uh, diverg diverging uh, experiences okay um The blessing you can get from this transmission, um, you will have someone to travel with on the journey you are undertaking, okay? There will be friendship, laughter, and sharing of uh, the experiences you guys have. And for some of you um, women who have friends that you're close with or you consider like a sister, um, the choice was made long ago. Uh, one of one of you uh, was transformed against uh, another wishes, okay? One of your friend wishes. But the other could not be left behind to live and die as a mortal while the other watched, okay? Um, also, the negative side of this transmission that can happen to you is uh, you might, or someone around you might be feeling guilty for someone wanting uh, to come with you on this travel. Um, it is their choice and their soul's journey do not deny them the gift of your company simply because the role you share is tough, okay? Okay, so um, that's what's going on with your transmission. Um, for your seduction, um, I feel like somebody might be um, having desires, might be manipulative 
manipulative, um, Um, also, I'm, I am picking up that, um, this message comes to you now to warn you, um, and to empower you, okay, and ask to be heed, ask you to heed to the messages, um, that I am giving to you through the ancestors, okay. Um, the one who knows what it is you want has a plan for you, okay? Um, and that plan involves their own satisfaction, okay? There is one about you who understands very deeply what people desire and most especially what you desire. It is not so simple and crass as sexual satisfaction or a kind of food or even a job or status in life you are being offered. Um, it is the deep feeling that you are understood, accepted, and desired for who you are, okay? But um, it is a truth that th this person who is now seducing you is doing so with every kind of ability to stifle and uh, inhabit your life force, okay? You want to wear crystals and do a lot of meditation. There's meditations for uh, mantras for protection and uh, things like that if the crystals don't seem to work. This is not to say that you must look about, about you now with submission of all people, suspicion of all people, um, you must simply become aware of your desires, okay, and your vulnerabilities. Um, this message also can be for you to uh, start requiring self-knowledge or enhance it, um, to understand that when you are called to a beautiful bed, you may be drained, and you may even die to a part of yourself. For you will come to know uh, the love that um, has been offered to you has been for the satisfaction of another, okay? So if you do go to bed, of, if you do go to the bed of the vampire, you will leave a part of yourself there. Um, someone about you is ready to seduce you. If you choose to be seduced, they will be, they will have um, what they want and you will lose more than you know. Be careful, okay, Virgos, who is Moon Sun is in Taurus. The blessing of this is that um, you are now able to discern much more clearly between people who are healthy for you and people who you would do well uh, to avoid. Uh, you, you are no longer feeling guilty for saying no to attractive advances, okay? Now, if you continue to go to bed with this vampire, this negative force, um, the bad thing about that will, it will, it is time to just, you know, reassess a friendship or the kinds of people and situations you find, uh, find attractive. Um, and you can ask yourself, are you uh, inviting unwelcome dramas and situations into your life? Okay, especially by going to bed with this um, vampire. Okay, also, some of you uh, might be having a witness to something you've gone through or you're about to go through. So don't worry. Um, what else? Don't you worry at all. Okay, um, 
witness. Some of you guys will have a witness, uh, meaning to know or pers or uh, witness towards personal evidence um, or to speak out when you're going to speak out against something. You will have witnesses to to back up anything you say or do. Um, so don't I wouldn't worry about that. Um, Um, some of you guys will have seen what you once thought was only a rumor or only hearsay or perhaps even made up means you have changed and you have seen us, okay? You have seen uh, spirits, okay? You have seen the play of colors around a human being, um, their auric field for those of you who are conscious and, you know, have a high, um, intuitive auras of, you're, you're highly conscious, okay? Um, You have seen a play of colors around a human being, their auric field, tele telegraphing information to you at all times. You have experienced the dream that comes true in the weeks after you saw faces in the night. You have spoken with nature, spirits, and have come to know there is more than uh, what so many humans wish to admit is true and the lies in the world we all share okay um, the blessing of this this uh, witness card for you Virgos and Taurus Moon sign Taurus is that the veils of illusion and deceit have uh, lifted, okay? While this can be painful, it is also a great blessing to know the truth. Do not doubt your experience, okay? So, some of you have somebody who is stalking or being stalked. Um, it might be you or somebody in your surroundings. Um, or somebody has been invaded um, or or is being watched okay um, also when one is haunted in in your um, time meaning right now with your people, you are often unable to identify what is happening. The veneer of civil civility um, that covers us all, even us, especially us, helps us appear kinder than we are, okay? Uh, some people are hunters, vampires, and uh, that makes others prey. In your culture at this time, there is a theory that those who are harmed or hurt have somehow attracted that to themselves. Um, for it's a way of saying that the prey is offering itself up and this is what we have come to warn you of okay your spirits have come to warn you about this and they're speaking it through me to you right now okay um i'm here to tell you virgos moon sign and taurus that there is one who sees you as prey and they see themselves as the hunter and more and the more they can persuade you that you wish to play this role and that is um 
Okay. I come to tell you that there is one who sees you as prey, Virgos, um, Moon, Sun, Taurus. Mm. And they see themselves as your hunter, okay? And the more they can persuade you that you wish to play this role and that it is your fault, the more powerful they will become. This card, um, this witness card here, This card that popped up in your reading comes forth when one has been groomed to be hurt. There are many examples of abuse and monstrosity in your world amongst humans, and often it is the one who is most close to you who will take what is most precious to you. Do not become prey and do not agree to this hunter being invited by you, okay? Uh, the victimization they are visiting upon you has not been invited by you. Expect, except um, through circumstance, okay? There is no contract that a uh, Virgo that Virgos need to accept, okay? So this means that this must play out, okay? Um, if you feel this is wrong, speak up and speak out. Being hunted, being preyed upon is not something you must take the responsibility for, nor must this play out. You, cha you can change the script in the hunter's head. You can change the outcome. You can refuse to become prey. You can play this game quite differently to the script they um, have handed to, handed to you, Virgos. In fact, you need not play the part at all, okay? Now, the blessing from all of this uh, will be you are able to make a stand and you are strong, clever, and powerful. It is time to stand up to a bully or to one who wishes to blame you for their own bad behavior. Um, you did not attract the circumstances to you, Virgo, you, um, that, <coughs> that you find yourself within. So um, you have a great deal more power than they wish you to have, okay? And I'm, I keep looking at that card. Now, the bad thing to this, if you choose to play it, um, you know, play this, this part with this vampire who keeps uh, hunting you, okay, there are uh, lies and manipulations taking place to make you accept the circumstance, okay? So you can change this and say clearly no. This is not right, and it is not for me, okay? All right. And last but not least in this card of this reading has to do with faith. Having faith knowing that everything will pan out and work out for the, for the better, okay? Which i already been telling you good things could come out of this if you don't play along with it with the vampire who's hunting you, okay? Like, because if you don't play along with it, then, you know, it, it won't last. They will move on to something else, okay? You just have to have faith, faith and confidence, okay? And um, your faith returns and you feel a true connection and comfort in your choices and plans that you made. Um, they are supported by energy of the universe, okay? So if I was you, I would listen to mantras that can ward off evil, uh, 
curses, spells, and and play it. You could play it as much as you want through the day. I usually listen to uh, the Meditative Mind channel on YouTube. They're pretty good. Um, now, if you don't have faith, <laughs> you know, feeling jaded and hurt by what you have learned, uh, you have lost some of your enthusiasm and, and innocence in this if you choose to play along, you know what I'm saying? So, I will uh, return back to you guys later. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to get this message out to Virgo's Moon Sign Taurus, uh, February 17th, 2021. Okay, thank you. Namaste. Peace and love.